In other news, Akira Konoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with... Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Okay, next I'm scheduled at... Oh, it's the manager. Hello? Oh, this is bad, Miss Alice. Look at the email I forwarded you. What in the... Phantom Thieves? My desire? All the desires I've collected? No, you can't! I need those! That's what makes me the monarch! I need those to... Without those, I'll... Alright. I'll wait for you. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. I'll smash you for certain this time. Cage of Desire. that it's her Alice so it's a fight after all oh dear you thought you'd just sneak in like that and what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires hey you Joker right did you come back to me so you could be mine Oh, what a grump. You should try being nicer to girls. Alice Hiragi! We know all about the horrible things you've done. You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. 
The Kamagi-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. But that doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have such wonders to show you! What wonders? Ignore her, Soapy. She just wants to torture us or something. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Aww, you fancy you're like just that! Maybe you have to be Nobody's 
going, you'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? <sighs> I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. <sighs> and I tried so hard to change, but I was still made fun of. Still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked again so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And then still, wasn't enough for me. And it wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding. I'll destroy every single one of them. Alice. So this is a wound in a heart. <laughs> this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully, right? You idiot. What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, Takamaki-san... Right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me going through the same thing. But I. <sighs> you think so? Takamaki san. I. I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. 
You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You wanna be... Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. It was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real life counterparts are returning to normal. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the? What is it, Mona chan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing. But the giant desire blew up! Like... <sighs> no. Just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So, if the Monarch is toppled, and the Desires are all returned, the Jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this Jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two could really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah... I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human? Because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? <laughs> well, what do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get going. On 
was very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. Consider. Anger saved Alice. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you.